Okay, so one of the members asked that uh, what is the role of estazolamide in metabolic alkalosis? So understand how this uh, estazolamide acts. So basically it acts on the carbonic anhydrase enzyme and in, it inhibits that in the renal tubules. So sodium bicarbonate is lost uh, through the urine and there is a diuresis also. So a state of metabolic acidosis develops. So usually in children's the metabolic alkalosis because of any renal problem or other problem, it can cause reduced cardiac contractility, pulmonary vasoconstriction, alteration in the uh, intracranial uh, perfusions. So because of all this, estazolamide is used and it uh, brings the pH to the uh, normal value by contracting the metabolic alkalosis part by developing metabolic acidosis. But as we deal in the adult ICUs, so the indications are a little bit different. First thing, we usually use in patients who have CSF rhinorrhea to decrease the CSF production because it reduces the CSF production also. It uh, In patients of idiopathic intracranial hypertension, by reducing the CSF, it decreases the CSF uh, intracranial pressure. Then if there is an acute glaucoma or intraocular pressure is high, there also it can be used. Then uh, it is also used if there is a generalized overload sort of condition in the patient, then estazolamide can be used. But uh, it is not recommended in uh, uh, COPD patients because uh, COPD patients remain in a state of chronic metabolic alkalosis as a compensatory mechanism for chronic respiratory acidosis. So PCO2 is high, so body tries to bring the PCO uh, bicarb also to a higher range to maintain the pH. But its not use in it is not very much recommended. One more use is, is the patients or people who go to the hilly areas like Leh, Ladakh or any hilly stations and there is a rapid shift uh, in the body uh, occurs. So there is, a, there is a state of hypoxia and, and because of this the oxygen dissociation curve shift to the left also. So in this patient, in such conditions, if the uh, estazolamide is given one or two days before in the recommended doses, it develops a state of metabolic acidosis and then to compensate the patient hyperventilates and the saturations are maintained. Also because of the metabolic acidosis, the hemoglobin dissociation curve shifts towards the right and it releases oxygen more easily to the tissues. So this is the mechanism by which estazolamide is used in various conditions. I hope this was helpful. Do read more about it.